want to see how the, the launch control sounds? <laughs> I know I look kind of crazy, right? It, it, it doesn't. I learned to, it's not that bad. Thank you. What's up, guys? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel, Mike Phil Speed. Today, I have a pretty exciting video for you guys. I'm not exactly sure which way it's going to go. I don't even know if you guys would call it a cold start because it is hot. Just like that. We were on the road, got about an hour left. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I'm thinking about adding a new car to the fleet for the channel. Uh, if you guys remember, I had an E9328, which is my daily. I would kind of sort of say it was a car for the channel as well, but I daily that thing every day, six speed manual, I loved it. That M52 wasn't exactly the fastest, but I will say I had a heck of a lot of fun with that car and the six speed manual, especially the way I set it up with the coilovers and everything. So the car I'm thinking about replacing it with is still an e-chassis car, the E92. However, it is power body, notorious N54, and um, a seven speed dual clutch transmission. So this should be fun. Whoo, look at that. Whoo, oh yeah, he's race ready too. <laughs> All right, says we are here, kinda sorta. Oh, I see him. I see it. Jesus. <sighs> it's not a regular 335. It's the IS with the DCT. A lot of people don't understand the difference. Oh, you got the front respray from since last time. So, I ain't gonna lie to you, I don't know exactly what I'm looking at when it comes to M M54, but... So, we looking at... What do you say again? So, I got the Burger Burger Sports DCI and Cones. Uh-huh. That Tile Q, Low Foul, Burger Burger Sports, the Diesel Charge Pipe. Diesel Charge Pipe? Yeah. The regular ones, the Low Foul is up here. Uh-huh. But I don't have space for it, so. Single turbo guys, uh -huh. they get the diesel uh, because they put the tile bolt out down there, so they move the covers more on this side, so it doesn't bother. And got you because the turbo sits over here, no, no, yeah, everything sits right here. Yeah, for cooling, I got the uh, PSP 750 horsepower intercooler. And it's, you can see it from the top, like, not too much. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can see it. So the bumper, what's new? The bumper's new, no? The bumper's new. Uh, fender's new, it's been painted, and the hood's new. And the hood's new, yeah, I can tell it, yeah. Not bad, man, not bad. Yo, let me ask you, what the hell are these? I see these all the time. What, what the hell are these? Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> I see some people run them, some, like, I've never seen them on a bracket, though. Like, a lot of M54s I've seen, they've been, like, scattered, like, like. Yeah, because whenever, like I said, whenever they do a single turbo, they got to move it around. You need it, but. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they just move it here, or they move it to this side. Everything's pretty good. Cooling system. I mean, this is a smooth running M54. Not that I've known to see a lot of them, but. So, no issues. You pretty much did everything to it. I did, um, from, I did all the parts from FCP Euro. I did brand new coils, brand new spark plugs, oil chains, liquid molly. Um, that's about it for that means. Then slapped on a tune on there. MHD. And one thing I noticed, man, any 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 BMW that sound is quiet is, is pretty good. So these are the wheels that come with it from factory. Yes, these are 19s, a little bit rare. Yeah. These are 18s. I see you put a thin tire on the front. Yeah, I didn't care about the front. I put a. a, a yeah. Up yeah, those are pretty good. Up to like, I think up to like 500 wheel, these yeah. tires are pretty good. The Indy 500s. They're, Anything after 500 wheel, you rear wheel drive, yeah. and this come with an LSD. I don't know that. I'm, yeah. I'm not sure yet. But I know that. Oh yeah, and this is a vert. I keep forgetting yeah. about that. Yeah. Let me see how that top works, man. Yeah. I know you get that crazy exhaust when the top go down too. Yeah. 
Yo, I don't know. It's something about this is beautiful. I love these cars with the top down, man. And it's the IS, the DCT. Yep, got the DCT. So that's seven speed, like like the M cars. Yeah. Okay, okay. Gauge is a little different. I noticed that. Boy, I love the way E90s look, bro. The, the, the E90 series. Probably got just as much room in the back as I have. <laughs> probably, man. No, you probably got more. Okay, okay. And what'd you do to as far as like power wise? Power wise, I did MHD stage two. So MHD, will you have um catalyst down pipes or catalyst down pipes? Oh I also have uh we are some catalyst down pipes, they uh -huh. are coated for the for the heat resistance. I had the secondary, I deleted it, and so IS comes with like a sport muffler. Uh-huh. So it's a little bit louder than regular uh 335s. So it should sound pretty good. I don't know man, I kinda like it already, man. Core injection, brand new. Oh, okay, okay, so what port injection, what would I need to add that, like, why would I need to add that for just like, how much more power are we talking uh, about? So if you want over 600. 600, you, you need, need port, port injection. injection. Yep, yep. Got you, got you, got you. Oh, BMP, I heard of them before. Yep, yep. Wait, you can open the trunk this way? Like, like instead of the regular way, I can like go no, grocery you shopping? Open, it. You could. Oh, I got you, I got you. Got you. <laughs> Yo, this looks crazy. This is like a freaking transformer, bro. <laughs> You want to see how the, the launch control sounds? Well, yeah, we'll do the launch control. Give me one minute. Let me right, let right. me just drive normal first. Nice. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait. You turned it all the way off. All the way off. So we we gonna chill. All right, guys. Do what you gotta do. Oh, we ain't bro. going too crazy though. Yeah. We ain't going too crazy. But yeah, I just want to see how the car honestly like drive normal yeah. first, and then you could do what you gotta yeah, do yeah. to it. I'll just do like normal. Yeah. Everything's on, but how it drives. It feels good though. Nice little vert action. Though. I like this thing. I can definitely hit them turbos though. I've heard the M54 turbos are really small. Once you put a big single in there, yeah. no joke. Or upgraded twins. Or... Yeah, I like the vert action, bro. Alright, we get out here on the road. Action. Shift it itself. Oh, is it smoother than I thought though? Yeah. Twin turbo BMWs be sounding <laughs> funny, yo. <laughs> The B58 is no joke, you know that. You used to have an F340. Look, I got it. Oh yeah, it's yeah, it's no joke, man. Those, those things are no yeah. joke. Well, that's the, that's the thing. A lot of people don't think about that. That's the, you know, that, I think that's like the only BMW thing though. Like where people do power before maintenance. I think, I, I've never seen anybody, I don't know, man. I mean, on a BPTA, there's, there's a maintenance. Well, new car, I mean, it's a new car, you know. But now if you were to buy a, like, like even an F30 BPTA, you know, you gotta do some type of maintenance to it, you know. But these have to be maintained first. Oh, though, like I, I was expecting like, check engine light and stuff like that on this thing. Nah, yeah, I'm she's good. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I feel a DCT when you really punch it. I feel it. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Yo. Right? Yo. Uh, launch control, turn off traction once. Manual. Hit the brake, the gas. Oh. Alright, she goes, man. Yeah. She goes, man. What's far over here? Oh shit! Got this quick. Just, uh, What's up? I got the seatbelt. I always have it closed. Just wrap it around the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I'll put my stuff in the back. I'm not going crazy at all. That's. Uh, 
Oh, I got you. This door closed like a freaking 90s Honda just now, bro. <laughs> All right, so straight down. Hold this drive. All right, cool. Should I put the manual? Uh, yeah, you can throw the manual. You're just going to keep going straight. So this... Does this have a way you can adjust the shifts more aggressive or it's just a uh I feel like if you turn off sport it's less aggressive. Oh hell yeah, it's like a slush box. Yeah. Well when you turn it on it's much better. Oh nice, nice, nice. Your traction only off once. Oh yeah, that's uh yeah, that's 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 the good kind. The other kind is what the Sheesh. Oh, you tap you tap the pedal a little bit. You got the burbles. <laughs> yeah, it's not too crazy though. It's like zero point eight. Yeah, not gunshots. I, I would turn these burbles completely off once I get the car, and I'll just because I want to do big single. Yeah, see if I do big single, yeah, I, I would need. Yeah, man. Hearing the turbo is was perfect. Oh, you got a lot of a lot of smoke. Oh, actual turbos might be blown. Actually, you think? I'm not sure. Like I said, yeah. I said it wasn't doing it until I did the. Did secondary. the Oh, okay, yeah. secondary cat. Well, I, I don't know about them at all. I just know um, there's one dude, uh, actually a couple dudes that I know that m 54 is that just typically means the t like maybe the seals or something. Yeah, turbo seals. Yeah, but I mean, I ain't going to hold you, bro. Big boost or go home. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to put a big single. I wasn't going to keep it twin for long anyway. The steering definitely reminds me of my 328, how, how well, I don't know firm if it's normal, it is. But ain't the steering a little bit thick? Huh? Is that me or is it is it thick? I don't know. It it feels like normal BMW to me, honestly. BMW be having some thick ass steering wheels. Yeah, it feels normal to me. I drove an RS3 the other day, and the steering wheel was like a lot better. <laughs> I know I look kind of crazy, right? <laughs> it, it it doesn't. I learned to. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yo, people be like that. Oh. Yeah, I think I, I think this is something I need in my life, bro. Traction's not even off all the way. So. Nah, I'm, tr tr traction's good how it is. Yeah, it's the yeah. shifts. It reminds me of the uh, F80 M3. It makes you like. Yeah, like like the shifts. It kind of makes the tires break out in yeah, in the shift. Yeah, like yeah. you you could have grip around this corner, but you hit the paddle and it's like you have no more grip anymore. Yeah. I need something sketchy. I nah, said so I need something sketchy like this. I can't feel the, the vert. It's like it's a little bit, you know. Heavy or, or yeah, you uh, can feel yeah. it a little bit. Like you can but feel it. It's got more weight. To it. What was that? Uh oh. But it's got more weight to the back, so I mean, if you like. Oh yeah, yeah. Wise, like, it, it helps. No, 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 I could just feel the difference. That's all. Oh yeah, that's nice. <laughs> I definitely throw a trans tune on this thing. Yeah. Yeah, you got a little smoke in the back. Right there, it might be turbos. I'm not sure, bro. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, I mean. It, it, not eat much oil, everything's good. Yeah, it's probably a little bit of a little bit of um, Could be. I mean, it's not yeah, seals. And I think that's a common problem on the M54s, right? Yeah. A lot of people get them rebuilt, but man, single or go home. Yeah, no point, it's weird, like, see how like gas is? Oh, yeah, that's DCT. Yeah, I, I love it though. I, I kind of like doing it on purpose. <laughs> in, in my G82, they tried to make it like you know, exactly. like good. And don't get me wrong, they did pretty good, but it ain't like that. Like the DCT is the DCT. Oh, I think we gotta go the other way because this is the way I came. Oh, did you? Yeah. Woo! That blow off valve is nice too. <laughs> Usually the other ball valves. Uh, the other ball valves you know, it's not as it's not as loud as this because they uh -huh. have release. Like all around. Yeah, this was atmosphere or yeah. okay. Yeah, I, I, it, it looked like it just one, dumps it's, it. It's called the Q, I think. Got gotcha. you. It just dumps it out to the atmosphere, I guess. See, this is dope because you get to have like a, I, I mean, a manual feeling without the clutch pedal. So you got have a nice fast car, but not kill yourself with that with the the rolling through the gears. Which don't get me wrong, bro. I I, I would love a three three five manual too. But for making crazy amounts of power, I think the DCT I is where like, it's at. Yeah, for even, even, not even daily, but like, yeah. I feel like it's, it's much 
much better. I mean, with 93,000 miles, the DCT is holding up pretty good. I will say, with more power, you probably get them rebuilt. Because, uh, in my opinion, the DCT like clutches. Around, like 700 is where yeah. you want to rebuild them. But even like I was saying, straight. straight? Yeah. The DCT, I think the clutch and clutches and these are like consumables, like like how they are the manuals, you know? Yeah. If you if you're in a lot of stop and go traffic where it has to roll and this and the third, I can see them wearing out, but this is definitely nice. It's not lowered, I'm assuming not. Okay. Minus comes with the, I guess Sport, uh, sport suit and suspension, yeah. yeah. This is pretty much like the M with the, with the N54. With the, yeah. with the yeah. which is actually probably the better so one. Technically, well, it have a tune on it. doesn't matter now, but technically from factory, I think this is, has 30 horsepower. Then the M. No, yeah? Then, then the regular 330. Oh, okay, I get what you're saying. Right. Make it right here, right? Right here. All right, I feel like we went in one giant circle. Yo, I'm so used to driving the M. Yo, that, yo, that turn. Yo, the whole steering, the steering um is different too, because, huh? Yeah, you know what? Cause like I just took that turn, in uh, in the M4, it just goes around the corner. And this thing, I'm like, oh, sh we got a little understeer, man. But it wasn't even understeer. It was, the, it was the, I think the ratio and the, the wheel. You can't really chuck it like the M, bro. But it's not what it is, you know. Okay, so we got, yeah, every time you come to Alaska, I see the smoke. So this is a rebuilt title? Yeah. Okay, okay. And you had it when it was, like, you, you I don't want to say, cra you crashed the car, or? No, I, I bought it like that. Okay, okay. And you bought it rebuilt or salvaged? I bought it salvaged. It's rebuilt. Now. Okay, okay. So what was, like, do you have any pictures of the damage, or? Um, I should. I don't have one with me right now. Okay, got you, got you. Well, just send it to was, it. It was literally, it was missing a headlight and uh -huh. front bumper. And that? Anything behind it, that's it? Nothing was, you know, then it broke in or, you know, no frame damage, so. Sheesh, that's, that's pretty good. Was, yeah, nothing too crazy. Yeah. She's running good, though. Yeah, I mean, did most of the main, so she's, she's pretty well now. And also, man, we got Howard McCartan, uh, stereo system. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about that. <laughs> I tell you what, it, top down, you listen to music, that thing is good. Man. Well, yo, the, the, the sound systems in the E90, if you ask me, sounds better than any newer BMW. It's just like, I don't know, even in my M4, I got a Harman Kardon and it sounds like garbage compared to like this. Cause I had bass in my 328, like the bass model, the, the bass sound system. And it was so good. I think they just put like DSPs that don't make them loud. It left somewhere up here. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, we weren't we, we weren't really on it, you know. Yeah. Everybody's looking at me retarded. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it all the time though, cause you know I'll be honest with you though. In the beginning, it was very scary because you the way your eyes are trained to focus so like i don't know i look straight through the gopro like i can't even see the gopro right now i can see a little bit of the handle oh, you see it through the loop. yeah but i see the whole i see the whole uh the whole car like i can see the road everything yeah. when i first did you just have to learn to train your eyes to focus yeah. going straight up but i'm sure it's a little weird because like getting used to you know, front people and stuff. yeah well yo filming in front of people around people i've been mean, meeting up with you and filming yeah. It's kind of uh, like in the beginning, I would be kind of skeptical. Like, you know what I mean? Like just. Oh, she's good though, man. She's good. Do I got her in park? All right, cool. Yeah, there she is, man. So now I gotta ask you, right? I think you offer what, 16K? 16? 16? 16.5. 16.5. Without port injection. Without port injection. Yeah. All right. So. I mean, after driving it, right? You let, let me ask you this: what, what do you honestly feel it's worth? Honestly, even rebuilt title. Yeah. They go for eighteen, nineteen. Should we rebuild title? Yeah, like this clean title, they go over twenty. Yeah, it's, it's, it's becoming rare, man. I yeah. Don't see that much. Well, I I mean, 
a, a, a working N54 is becoming rare in, in itself. You know what I mean? Like, a, you know, um, most of the ones I've been looking at, you know, they obviously aren't ISs, but you'll find them, you know, look like a, you know, crazy underneath. So this is a clean looking one. Yeah. Manual will go for a premium. But I think you have what black exterior exterior with the red red, red inside demands a premium and it's an IS. Car's pretty cool. You got the middle console redone? The, no. Okay, okay. Now it just looks a little different red. Maybe it just took a little less sun than everything else. Probably, yeah, but it looks good. Oh, let me get my I'm gloves. That's how it looked. And you have the new iDrive. Yeah. So I'm looking at it, I definitely need some fender liners, which like I said, all of this stuff is not huge deals. That's kind of what the gamble you take when you book look at used cars. Me personally, I used to get up on underneath and look. Yeah. Older cars, E36 with the rust, I would check like that. Yeah. Just Google common problems and you know exactly what to look for when you come look at a car. But I found majority of the time I got lucky buying cars. They really don't f until after you buy them. <laughs> so, so it's like, you know, you just kind of know what to look for. See, yeah, I know the headlight, yeah. this headlight's a little bit different. No, nah, you just know. I, I, I don't know. I just look around and I know, you know, kind of sort of what I need. The fogs work on it or? Yeah, yeah. No, no, you don't have to show me. It's all good. I was just asking. Because so, uh, some bumpers, my 328 didn't have fogs and I put a fog light yeah, so bumper I, on it. I couldn't find a, the IS bumper for the uh -huh. list. It took me like months. So I just got an M Sport. You can tell a difference. A little bit, right? Yeah, the front nose is a little bit skinnier than the side skirts on here. And the tire, you can tell the tire's thin on the yeah, front. That's it. Yeah. I mean, like I guess yeah well you know my idea my idea honestly I'm because I'm trying to calculate in my head right now looking at thing about the price wise um I'll tell you right now what I do straight up right so I mean you you said you had the maintenance done on it obviously oil pan and stuff like that i'm not sure if I, as far as leak of oil I, I don't smell anything typically you'll smell something when you pop the hood i don't smell anything yeah these these motors sit kind of tilted anyway so it's like that's kind of why they have a lot of oil problems because the motor sits like that but um I, I i don't see any of that i would change that anyway if i'm going single turbo you know the motor would have to leave the car we do everything underneath um the DCT clutches would have to be something that'd be changed. These are just things I'm thinking about. Suspension, obviously, to take the power, refinish the wheels, upgrade brakes, tires. Uh, exhaust looks like you got that worked out already. Um, I mean, the interior's in good condition. Exterior just needs a little bit of, you know, stuff. I'll be honest with you, I probably would try to source an IS bumper so it could look a little, you know, a lot better. Um, you know. Uh, fender liners on underneath and stuff like that under the hood was pretty cool headlights don't look like they're in the worst condition these are pretty good i'm assuming that's the new one this is the older one yeah no no understandable it looks like someone attempted it and then kind of didn't buff it out fully and i'm not sure okay okay but yeah man i mean i'm gonna be real with you this is probably one of the cleanest is's that i've seen for sale you know what I mean? Now, obviously, you see you see the cleanest shit in Cali on Instagram. Like, like that's the yeah, like that's 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 not. But yo, it's pretty car. And and I'm really hard on when I judge cars. I normally call a lot of cars pieces, and the owners don't like them. This is not a piece. It's pretty cool. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean. No, no, no. The thing is, I'm I'm looking past the dirt. I'm just looking at how it would be after I got after it gets clean. Like I said, it's pretty good paint. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm just looking like everything I just named to you is kind of what I do. You know, um, but give you some numbers, you know, uh, I mean, I appreciate you for even giving me a deadline. Most people just be like, okay, fine. I mean, and listen, if you find somebody that's going to pay you 16.5 for it, then obviously let it go for 16.5. But, uh, yo, man, thanks for taking me for a ride in it. And we're going to see, we'll see what I want. All right, guys. So there you go. You kind of have a little hint of what I got cooking up my sleeve for picking up a replacement car. If I decide not to get that car or any other bmw i just need to pick up a motorcycle because big gas prices and stuff are i have a couple bikes to look at too so let me know down below in the comment section do you guys even want to see bikes do you guys care it'll be my daily driver and i know you guys want more and more and more content for me to pump out riding videos even motorcycle ride along mm, that might be good stay tuned and uh yeah i support all you guys and i thank all you guys i should say that for supporting me and rocking out with me. I'm gonna get out of here, make some so speed, peace out. Got some new merch I'm working on too, so. Sorry I didn't even make up my bed, but this is what the back of the shirt looks like right here. 
I have a picture of my car and a slow speed in the back. I might make that a little bit smaller and make that a little bit bigger. That's the back and this is the front. Pretty much I'm going to have you guys choose whatever color you want. And uh, if you want the front and the back to match, you know, these are just prototypes. I'll show you something else too. Now, boom, here we have design number two that I made. I have to do some touching up on this. I want this to be a little less blue. I kind of want to get these like fixed in here. You know, I need to talk to somebody who can edit or something like that. And this isn't exactly white. Now, I assume because they did like some direct garment printing and this is a black shirt. I feel like if this was a white shirt, this would come out a lot better. As you can see right here, I think this is screen printed. So you can see how, like, you know, I don't know. I could be 100% wrong. I'm not a professional uh, with making stuff. But what I do know is, let me know if you guys like these designs because, I mean, hey, I got them.